Hey Eagles, I wanted to show you guys um, these grid drawing practice sheets that we have. I'm gonna show you how I set them up. I went to Education City, let's see, educationcity.com and printed these, these were free. If you go into Google, you, you can also type in grid drawing worksheets and you can get them for free off of there. So this is what they look like whenever we print them off. And I have discovered whenever I am teaching this, that it helps if we label the grid. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna label the grid on this sheet of paper. So if we're looking at this grid up here at the top, so we wanna draw this giraffe, but we wanna draw it down here. And you can see that this grid is a lot bigger than this grid, right? So I went ahead at the top and I numbered one through five, one, your columns, right? Your columns are numbers, one, two, three, four, five. And then your rows, are going to be letters a b c d e and then i did the same thing down here at the bottom columns columns go up and down one two three four five and then your rows rows go side to side a b c d e so now and if you have a scrap paper laying around you can use that and it'll help so now if i look i only want to draw whenever i'm starting you're gonna break it up piece by piece you only want to draw what is in square A1, all right? So if I'm coming down here and I'm looking at A1, I can see that this ear, at this point I don't even know it's an ear, I just see lines. This makes it easier for you to take one big picture and kind of break it down. So I'm using a pencil and I'm gonna go really light because I might have to erase some of these lines. Okay, and I only drew what was in A1. Now, I like to go down, but you can do whatever works best for you. So now I'm gonna move down here to B1, and I'm gonna continue that line. I'm gonna go right there, and then I'm gonna continue this line to go down. So that's the only thing going on in B1, right? Nothing in these, okay? So now I'm gonna go over here to A2, and you can move this around. And I only, I might need more paper. I only want to draw what is in A2, okay? So I can see that this line is coming down and it's going right there, and this is going right here, and this is kind of going here. I'll show you another way that we can also do Oops, see I need to bring that paper down a little bit because I'm missing where that line goes. Draw a light with your pencil so that we can erase if we need to. Using techniques like this, you can take a big picture and you can break it down into something smaller. Makes it easier for your eyes. So you're gonna keep doing this process until you have done all of your squares. I hope this helps.